so welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's project is going to be a story generator using Python. Feel free to follow along and code with me. I would appreciate it so much if you liked, comment and subscribe for more support. Without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm going to be using Python 3 for this project and I'll be doing the I'll be coding it on Atom, saving it on my Mac, then running it on the terminal. If you don't know how to do this, then watch my last video because I explain it all there. So, I'm opening up Atom right now. I'm just going to delete these tabs and I'm going to reopen my coding file. And I'm going to make a new file and let's start. So, first I want to print Hello Reader. This is your story generator. You could write something of your choice, but just keep it on those lines. We can't run the code right now, but when we send it to the terminal, then it will be able to all run there. The next step is to make the code tell the audience what to write to write their name in. For this, we are going to use an input function. So we're going to type reader name equals input enter your name when you run the code this will ask for your name then it'll input it into the reader name so then it'll be saved as that's your reader name we're now going to output the reader's name by printing hello and then the name so I'm going to write print hello plus reader name okay just going to delete that as well now let's create the names roles quests and places of the story we'll create a list for the code to randomly pick into the story and a list in python we use square brackets so the list will look something like this i'll show you now i'm going to write names equals and you remember to spray square brackets let me just make up some names, Zara, Liam. I remember to leave a space after and before the names. So then in the story, it looks like there's spaces in between. There you go, and close it with the square bracket. This is just an example, use whatever names you want, your friend's names, family's names, anybody. Okay, we, were, we will do the exact same now for places to be in my story. Okay, I've finished writing my places. If you can't think of any places of your own, then you can use this as an example. Now we're going to make do the same method but for quests. So let's get started. Quest equals. I remember once again use the square brackets. Okay, so that's all the quests done, and for the next list we need to make the character roles. So just do any roles like the square brackets. Like, for example, normal girl, and I have normal boy, okay. old man, teenage girl, secondary student, worker at Harrods, university student, and finally, finally, posh girl. Okay, now the final list we're going to have to make is for the weather. I promise this is the last one. For weather. So let's just have... Remember to do the spaces in between so then like they count as spaces between the words. So we can have a sunny day. Oh, 
Okay, so now we have all of our lists and options for different roles, names, places, quests, and weathers. We're going to create a code which will randomly pick a phrase out of our list. So it will help us generate a story. So at the top of a code, we need to import random. This is just a function from Python. Oh. I'm going to write import random. So then it will let us make random choice, let the code make random choices. We're going to have to choose a random word from each of our list using the choice function. So we're going to type random name equals random dot choice from then the variable names. Then the same thing, random place equals random dot choice from guess what places. And the same thing on and on and on. Random quest is random choice from the quests, obviously. Random roles. And the last one, random weather is random choice from although this seems like a lot the code will really just simply pick a random choice from each of the lists and put them into the story so now we're going to have to start writing out the story and and inputting the choices so we're going to make a variable for the story and call that story and we're going to start off with like once upon a time a then pick a role called then the name um yeah so let's write here once upon a time a then add random roles and add a space between that as well a random roles and then Called, then choose a random name plus lived in in a beautiful area called and then add a place where it was then add random weather and in this place random name will have to and then random quests okay for the very last piece of this program we'll have to make the print function to actually make our story appear on the screen the first story you make might seem like nonsense or unusual. You could just adjust the code and list to make it fit in a certain theme. For example, if you want to make the story about winter, make all of your names, roles, quests and places and other related to the frost or winter or something cold. We're just going to write print story. Okay, now I'm just going to save this. Save as and call this story generator dot pi and save it onto my coding document folder. And now when we go, I'm gonna to go to the terminal. I'm going to open up my coding thing from my files which are down here from the finder. I'm gonna write ls and cd documents then cd coding and i'm going to print out i'm going to write python 3 then i'm going to write the name what i named this file story you can call your file whatever you want okay let's see if this works 
Let's try it one more time. Python 3 generator 2.py. Oh, yeah, I forgot to save this. Whoops. Whoops, said the wrong one. Hello, reader, this is your story generator. Finally, enter your name here. Once upon a time, a Hello, Zena. Once upon a time, a university student called Amina lived in a beautiful area called United Kingdom, where it was sunny, and in this place, Amina will have to go to the most beautiful area they search up in Pakistan. So, that works out pretty well. Um, I hope you liked this project, making a story generator. Now, you, that's just a prompt. If you, you need to go write a description or a story for this. And I hope you enjoyed following along with this and I hope you made your own one and make it as exciting as possible and write them down in the comments and tell me your ideas which you have. And yeah, I know it was quite a hard one today and we were using the terminal and if you don't know how to use it then please go watch my other videos so you can learn how to. But feel free to write in the comment section what you think of this and any questions if you have. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It means so much to me. Thank you again for watching and see you next time. Bye.